This guy is really in a hurry to get to Philadelphia, isn't he? Can't wait to get out there and see Mom. Uh, let's get on to uh, the proceedings at hand here. Uh, many people feel that our first guest is simply the best player in the game of baseball. This man was named Rookie of the Year in 1983. There he is. My goodness. He currently leads the National League in home runs. Please welcome the right fielder for the New York Mets, Daryl Strawberry. pretty cute when they do that, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I get a thrill out of it. Yeah, it, so. started, it started out as a, kind of a gesture of derision by, I guess, the Boston fans a couple of years ago. Yeah, in the World Series, you know, yeah. um, I wasn't playing well at that time, and everybody was chanting Daryl, and, you know, I kind of tipped my hat. It was getting to me a little bit, but yeah. now I feel comfortable about it now, you know, because it kind of pumps me up and makes me go a little bit Yeah, yeah. now, do you, do you get it both when you're playing at home and also on the road? Oh, yeah, I get it at home a lot, you yeah. know, especially when I come up in a situation, you know, they want me to come up with a big hit, and there it is, Darrow, yeah. Darrow. <laughs> uh, now, you mentioned, you said when you're not playing well, uh, what would be reasons for a person not playing well? Is it just uh, everybody has a bad day, or is it uh, an injury folks might not know about? Or well, I think it's, it's just, you go through that period where things don't go well. You go through a period where things go good, and, you, you know, everybody's happy. You're happy mm -hmm. when you're playing well. Mm -hmm. But when you're not playing well, you can't get down on yourself, and I, I understand that now. You know, at the time, I used to get down on myself, and and feel uncomfortable, but now, you know, I'm not playing well at this point, but the key is we win, and we're in first place, and yeah. that's all that's important. Yeah. That must be, I, I've never really gone through a period where I felt I was playing well, so I think, <laughs> uh, but you say now you don't feel that you're playing well? No, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit. Um, what would you improve? You're working on what? Getting some hits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, does, does your batting, uh, you would like to get your batting average up a little higher? Yeah. It, but you've it, hit how many home runs already? Well, you know, that's what everybody thinks, home runs are important, you know. How home many run? RBIs? I don't know, I don't really keep up. Oh, know? come on! I don't like to keep up. No, it's, but within a dozen, you must know how many runs you've batted in. <laughs> Maybe 12. <laughs> uh, so you were working on getting more hits, and you'd like to steal 30 bases? Yeah, well, that'd be nice to go 30-30 again. Yeah. Now, does it, does it hurt when you steal a base? No, no. It does? <laughs> Actually, it feels good when you steal a base. Really? Yeah. But you, don't you get all bruised up and stuff? No, not at all, because you have pads uh, to protect your buns. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do they call those pads exactly, Daryl? Sliding pads. Sliding pads, I see. Mm -hmm. um, and you just got back from Los Angeles, and you swept uh, three games there from the Dodgers. Mm hmm Was that pretty exciting? Very exciting. Yeah. Did your, did your family come out to, to Dodger Stadium to see you play when you're there? Friends from the... Uh, family, friends, everybody. People come out to Woolworths. Everybody wants tickets. You know, yeah. you got to leave 50 tickets for, um, you know. People you don't even know call up and say, hey, well, can I get four tickets to the game? Right? Like, who are you, Joe Blow? I don't, yeah. I don't know you. Yeah. You know? Uh, uh, and is it more pressure for you when you know that your friends are in, in the uh, stadium? Um, at home, you try a little, little too hard sometimes. Yeah. You don't stay within yourself. You know, when I get back to New York, I feel more comfortable. New York is my home. Yeah. Who do, who do you hang around with when, when you when you go out after a game? Who do I hang out with? Yeah. Um, Ron Darling and David Cohn. Yeah. And me. Let's. Can I? Let. Why don't you and I start hanging out? <laughs> It could be good for you and good for me as well, don't you? But I think everybody will recognize you more than they recognize me. Maybe so not. That will cause a lot of, <laughs> lot of problems. You know? yeah. Now, what do you guys do when you go out? Oh, we just, you know, have a couple of drinks. And mm -hmm. then, you know, I mean, because you get so tired of sitting, um, sitting in the hotel looking at the walls, you mm -hmm. know, after a ball game. So. Which is what you're supposed to do as model athletes and citizens <laughs> of America. You're supposed to be in the hotel room looking at walls. Well, you know, we, we just go out, we, you know, we don't stay out late. We uh -huh. just oh. hang out for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Got to play the next day. Yeah. You, know, so. uh, you guys played in, in uh, Wrigley Field a couple of days ago when they turned on the lights for that. What was that like? Was it, did it make any difference to you one way or the other? Well, I, I didn't um, feel comfortable because it was kind of dark, you know, down in the outfield. You really couldn't see because... And you know, the lights wasn't as good as most lights are. Yeah, yeah. it looked, it, it actually looked that way on television, like they're simply, it was maybe not directed properly or not enough power. Yeah, I don't think there was enough power. But, yeah. um, hopefully they'll fix it um, in the years to come. But it, it was, it was kind of strange playing a night game at Wrigley because you're so used to playing day sure. games there. And then you, all of a sudden it's a night game and you say, all of a sudden, you say to yourself, um, it's going to be real tough to pick up the ball here because yeah. you're so accustomed to being in a ballpark and playing in daytime. Do, are, there guys, are there guys on the team, and, and don't mention names if this is a sensitive area, who are, are maybe dumb and didn't really know the difference at all? 
you know, they just, just, just had no idea that it was anything different about it. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, now, when you, uh, right now, the Yankees are going through one of those periods where you pick up the papers every morning and, and Mattingly will say something and then Clark said something. Now, as, as a member of the New York Mets, how do you react to that? Do you, does it make you feel, do you have empathy for those guys? Do you kind of chuckle to yourself? Or what are your feelings when you read about the other? We really don't want to get into it because we're winning. So, yeah. you know, that's, you know, you don't worry about it when you're winning. If you're losing, then it's a different story. Yeah. You know, but, but do you feel badly for those guys playing the on the Yankees? Or well, do you not that, care? Well, you know, they have to play for George. Yeah. You know? George is a different personality from the New York Mets or Nelson Doubleday. Yeah. Do you, could you ever play for a guy like George? No, no way. <laughs> uh, and you, you, you would like to finish your career here and finish your career, how old are you? Like 25? 26. 26. So we're talking about what, another 15 years maybe? Oh no. Not that long, David. I don't think so? How old will you be when you hang it up? Um, I don't know. You know, the key is, is um, how your body hold up. Yeah. You know, if you're healthy. You know, you don't have serious injuries, knee injuries, breaking your ankles, something like that. Yeah. You know, Same so. is true with this job, you know. <laughs> My legs are just about gone. Um, so anyway, in, in, in October 1st, it'll probably be uh, you guys and who in the playoffs? Looks like the uh, Dodgers hope, hopefully now. Hopefully L.A., you know. Yeah. It'd be nice to go back there and, you know, you know yeah. I owe them something. Okay, so, had, so had you, a rough time, you get by them, and then, and then uh, who in the series? It looks like it might be open. Yeah. You know, the athletics, they got to... I got some power hitters over there, but we got some good pitching. Yeah, well, it's, it would be a great contest. Yeah, it'd be a great. Good series. to see you, Daryl. Have, right, have a terrific uh, rest of the season. Thank you, Daryl Strawberry. We'll be back here very soon.